teacher. Um, I've taught Wilfred Owen's poetry at AS level um, successfully, got some good results out of doing so. And I'm going to be talking through um, the poem Disabled today. Okay, Disabled um, is one of those poems, one of the many Owen poems that deals with um, the horrific uh, consequences of war. Uh, and it, and it um, is the story of a young, a very young, uh, Scottish soldier um, who enlisted to, um, to join up. Um, and it, it, the poem goes into uh, some of the reasons why um, a young soldier would, would join up. Um, he actually had to lie um, about his age. Uh, line 29, smiling, they wrote his lie, age 19 years. Um, he was clearly younger than 19 years uh, when, he, uh, when he joined up. And joined up um, because um, he was flattered. Um, flattered by uh, young girls, young women, um, flattered by um, the idea that um, joining the army and getting a uniform uh, would uh, enhance his reputation, make him look good, um, perhaps even make him sexy, um, because uh, the, the, the poem does deal with his sexiness, his attractiveness, his handsomeness. Um, and um, uh, so, you know, there are, um, I think you know, where we, we find that particularly um, is in yeah, line 26, 20, no, 25, 26, 27. Someone had said he'd look a god in kilts. That's why. And maybe too, to please his Meg. Aye, that was it. To please the giddy jilts he asked to join. Um, so he joined the army to, uh, I suppose like a lot of young men, uh, to feel good, to look good. Um, and the poem does deal a lot with uh, his handsomeness. Not only did he, did he look good, but he was um, in, his, in his youth a successful uh, athlete. Um, it, it, it talks about how he um, uh, was a footballer. Um, and after, after the matches, carried shoulder high. It was after football when he'd drunk a peg, he thought he'd better join. So again, we get this image of a very handsome, attractive, um, successful, popular um, athlete. And I think that's really, really important in this poem because it establishes just um, what he was before the war. And th what he was before the war was, were all of these very positive things. However, the poem also deals with con you know, the massive contrast um, to his current and present situation, and that is drastically reduced by war. He has been, um, as the poem is called, disabled uh, by war. He's lost um, uh, his uh, both legs um, and one arm. Um, as it says in the third line, legless, sewn short at elbow. That's talking about the suit that he's wearing, but it's, it's an interesting way of, dis of, of describing his uh, disablement, that it's the suit is legless, shown, sewn short at elbow, a sort of roundabout way of, 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 of describing how uh, he's, he's uh, been disabled. But as I said, this contrast is a huge part of the poem because... Um, uh, all of that handsomeness, that popularity, that sex sexiness has gone um, now that he is disabled and um, particularly um, at the end of the poem that point is, is, is uh, really enforced um, by, the, uh, by the idea that young girls, those young girls um, who used to um, perhaps uh, fancy him um, now look at him with horror um, or, or, or perhaps even worse than that look Look through him. Um, if you look at the last um, line uh, of the lines, um, it says tonight he noticed how the women's eyes passed from him to the strong men that were hold. Um, and it's as though they don't even see him; they look through him. Um, and um, and you know they, that that's, that emphasises the contrast uh, to the way that he used to be.